Addressing Pakistan Army officers of the 52nd Common Training Program, Pakistan's Field Marshal has accused India of being the biggest terror sponsor in the subcontinent. In an unusual turn of events during the India-Pakistan conflict from 7th May to 10th May, a Pakistani farmer unintentionally shot down a Pakistan Army's Yeha-3 drone, mistaking it for an Indian Air Force drone. Interestingly, the Pakistani Army also praised the farmer calling him a patriot, and offered him a reward for his heroism. The DRDO chief has said, that the RDO reforms will be completed within three months, that are aimed at improving efficiency accountability and alignment with India's evolving defense needs. After reports that Hindustan Aeronautics has dropped the indigenous UTAM radar for an Israeli radar on all 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, the DRDO chief has confirmed, that talks are underway with Hindustan Aeronautics to integrate the indigenous UTAM radar into the Tejas Mark 1A, that would reduce dependence on foreign systems. During the official visit of Indian Air Force Chief to Greece, Greek officials made a formal offer to sell 15 Mirage 2000 fighter jets to India, but the Indian Air Force is reluctant to proceed with the deal due to limited service life of the aircraft, and configuration differences of the Greek Mirage 2000. The DRDO chief has confirmed, that the original cavalry engine project is now closed, and it has been converted into the cavalry dry engine program, which is intended for use in the Gata unmanned combat vehicles. The DRDO chief has confirmed, that the final integration of the first Tejas Mark II prototype is underway at Hindustan Aeronautics, and its first flight will be conducted in first quarter of 2026. In its third attempt to procure mid-air refuelers since 2007, the Indian Air Force has started conducting technical evaluation of mid-air refuelers. Four firms have submitted bids for six refuelers, and once a platform is selected, the Ministry of Defense is expected to seek an Indian maintenance partner to support and sustain the tankers. In a major development, the future infantry combat vehicle prototypes developed by Tata and Bharat Forge are almost ready, and trials are scheduled to begin by October 2025. The Indian Army is all set to start user trials of the Jorawa light tank in July 2025, covering high-altitude regions like Ladakh, desert terrain, and riverine environments such as Pangongtso. The new 2,500 km Agni-5 conventional missile variant in airburst warhead configuration, will be designed to detonate above the target, thus maximizing damage over a large surface area. A single Agni-5 with an airburst warhead could devastate an entire enemy airbase, destroying runways aircraft radar systems and command centers. The Agni-5 missile in bunker buster configuration will be designed for targets famous for hiding in bunkers, and it can burrow 100 meters underground before detonating, making it ideal for targeting fortified bunkers, missile silos and nuclear storage facilities. In a major development, the product 177S next generation jet engine with stealth treated thrust vectoring control nozzle offered by Russia for the AMCA program, has piqued the interest of the Indian Air Force as a future upgrade for the Super Shukhoi fighter jets. Both the existing AL-31 FP and product 177S engines share identical weight and dimensions, making them fully interchangeable without requiring structural changes to the aircraft. The 150 km range M1 interceptor of Project KUSA is currently in the fabrication stage, and its first trial is scheduled for September 2025. The DRDO has now issued a call for bids to develop a mobile launcher system for the M2 and M3 interceptor missiles, which is critical for ensuring the operational flexibility and rapid deployment of the 250 km range M2 and 400 km range M3 interceptors. The Indian Air Force will procure five squadrons at a cost of 21,700 crore rupees, that will have the capability to neutralize stealth fighters, precision guided munitions, and Mach 7 capable anti ship ballistic missiles with a single shot kill probability of 90%. Today's top three comments.
Haunted.